Okay, okay. Uh, is it enough talking about the maintenance office? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we have to check it out. Anyway, uh, let's focus on maintenance office again. All jokes aside, uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, we have the... Uh, tr -tr -tr -tr, do we, are we missing any elements? You can see here that we have currently uh, also storage. Mm, the, uh, right, right, okay. Step back, step back. <gasps> breathe in, breathe out. Let's uh, start on the, with the comment section with the... Uh, with the Marcos, the only way I could stop checking for vehicle repairs all the time, actually this is the third or fourth episode already where we're checking this, uh, was attaching a small warehouse and a small steel storage uh, to the repair station, so it was much larger space for material storage. Yes, okay, so this is a really good idea. Uh, I will just add, not a big deal, but I will just add here that... Uh, I'm thinking about, uh, let's do it like this, uh, five, 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 let's, let's go for five, 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 and then like what, 80%, 80%, uh, let's put the storage for the ma machine parts, mechanical components, to these levels, is this going to be enough, I don't know, uh, let's, let's check it out now, again, uh, am I missing something? Uh, try clicking on the bus stop in front of your repair station and set percentage of the citizens. Yeah, th this is all. Uh, the, sorry, this is the uh, Hala uh, mentioning. Yes, I did the here. Repair station has 12% of my workers coming here to work, which is perfectly fine. If there's no workers here, that means there's no workers anywhere. Uh, that means that we have a problem with the delivery of people here, uh, which is obviously a thing, which is obviously a problem. Um, we'll look at this. Uh, we have vehicles dying left and right. Uh, could be a wow. Look at this. Uh, this is like um, a Christmas tree decoration. So all these repair icons all over the place. Um, some of them are kind of concerning because like these ones that are parked and have these icons, that means that they are dead. They are 100% and uh, they need to be... Uh, I don't know what they need to be done. What, what, what do we need to do with them? But uh, you can see that we have quite few of them parked uh, I can sell them but looks here that the, the selling of this vehicle uh, would cost us 5,000 rubles which I'm not really uh, which I'm not willing to do um, but anyway like um, let, let's cross that bridge when we come to it anyway it's um, Friday afternoon when we're recording this six o'clock Leaky has a problem with a new PC assembly blah 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 uh, long story short actually no long story long. I bought, bought uh, so I wanted to upgrade the computer so I can uh, play some of the games because my graphic card is really oldish, 1080, not Ti, just normal 1080. Um, Asus Turbo OC something something, and um, um, it's in it's in five and a half years old, and some of the new games that I wanted to play and uh, record for you guys, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't record them because the graphics is just too weak. So, also playing like Medieval Dynasty and recording at the same time, uh, I was having a lot of glitching and stuff and stuff and stuff. So, I had to invest some money into this. Uh, it's been five and a half years and I'm, I'm really, really happy about my PC. I really don't want to change anything. But unfortunately, I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, it's acting up a little bit. Um, it's blowing up a lot of uh, hot air. <laughs> my <laughs> power supply, sorry, the the um uh the, the cooling liquid cooling anyway what i wanted to say is that uh our uh, my, my pc i bought a new graphics card and the graphic card uh, graphics card has pci express 4 uh, my motherboard has pci express 5 plus the power supply that i have is 600 watts and i need 650 at least to run this graphics card it's 6950 atiradeon I believe. Okay, don't call me. I posted it on the Discord, by the way. Um, the the I had to order a new power supply, which was kind of given. So you know, like we, I need a new power supply because it would be it, it would be having problems if I didn't. So fine, uh, power supply and the new thing. I have to mother, uh, order a new motherboard. New motherboard uh, does not have sockets the, for the old um, Intel 
com uh, processors so 1151 and PCI Express 4 those two combinations don't exist okay this is a little bit ridiculous how many vehicles can die like um, yeah the only thing I can see here there's no vehicles coming into this uh, I think we do have everything that we need we have even all the people that we need uh, it's just nobody coming in here to be repaired which is strange because they just go and die Maybe the vehicles that are not on the lines like these ones that are broken here need to be repaired by the vehicles going on site. But then um, the only thing I can see here that we can do uh, is... Where are you, Scooby-Doo? Oh, you're here. You're coming in. That's you, right? Okay, Scooby-Doo, you're going to be retired. I'm going to buy a new vehicle here. It's going to be the biggest freaking covered piece of stuff. Vehicle, vehicle. Oh, let's go with... Whoa. Oh, uh, money-wise, okay, pause for a cause, let's go for a loan, uh, we don't have a lot of choices here, we have only one loan left, uh, 400, no, of course, we, can, we need to go be closer to the realistic uh, amount, uh, 340, okay, can you please go left, no, uh, okay, whatever, give me that. Here we go. We have last loan here, but potentially before the bankrupt uh, bankruptcy. But uh, we'll see. Even if we fail with this, it's not a problem. We're gonna start a new, uh, new game potentially on a new map. But uh, it doesn't really matter uh, with this because this is this game is really really hard. And also we started with and this was closed beta the the settings, so a lot of things changed. So I'm not just giving up on this game. So fear night. We're gonna continue. You're gonna have to endure me even further. What I wanted to say is we're gonna need a bigger vehicle, so let's go for this bigger truck. Uh, what about this vehicle here now? Uh, where are you? Uh, he is doing something. He's going to he going here and repairing some of these vehicles. I don't even know if they can repair 100% damaged vehicles. That's an interesting part. And here, uh, allow repair cancel when uh, when a long idle. Uh, so canceling repair, repair cancel when allow. Oh, okay, even wording here is absolutely. Epic. Uh, what I wanted to say is, uh, I think we're gonna need. Uh, well, well, let's see if we're gonna need more me uh, mechanical components. But looks like we have everything that we need here. I think we have everything that we need here. So I don't think we're gonna need anything else. Continuing on, we do have a couple of these bad boys here now. So we need to go and uh, start organizing our imports. So border crossing here, you need to start importing a couple of things steel uh bricks the prefab panels boards i will go for the ele uh, elect uh, mechanical components and electrical components here we go these things need to be imported we're gonna be delivering this all of this here unfortunately this is still not done we're still delivering people to finish this but i can utilize here deliveries of uh the mechanical components over here i think we have one covered hull vehicle that should be handling this unfortunately I didn't put him to let's say 90 percent here come on off you go off you go there we go you see he's going for mechanical components how many what only 12 percent what's a 12 percent of this uh 650 kilos like 700 kilos we can stock more than that there's like 4.8 tons here brother okay that's weird uh fine whatever you do you. Uh, and then we have the little warehouse over here that's going to be stocked with the same materials as uh, as we mentioned before. Machine parts and the uh, mechanical components and electrical components. That's it. Um, what about these? Initially, until we are finished with uh, the new... Uh, until we're finished with the new uh, storage area, maybe we should we should at least help them with the bricks because bricks are the big, big item uh, on the menu. Okay, so we will have a bigger vehicle doing the repairs. Uh, also, these guys don't... I don't think we need this one as well. Let's get the other big vehicle also. So let's see if these W50s are going to be any more useful for these repairs than the older vehicles. We have plastics, nine, 920 kilos of machine parts. He didn't even empty all of it. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's 41 kilos of machine parts, mechanical components. And the storage is not full. Why didn't he empty all of it? Dude, why didn't you empty all of it? 
This game is literally returning to the border crossing. Maybe it's some kind of a bug with the game, it would be the first one. Uh, that is the preventing us from doing this. Now, we do have these bigger trucks that are going to be doing the rep uh, repairs. So this one says that it has 200, no, 24 kilo. Wow. I just get the biggest truck in the game and it's... Anyway, you know what, let's focus on other stuff. Uh, right, so we are producing the clothing here. I'm going to limit amounts. We're going to go for all clothing. Maybe I should have just selected it differently, but here we go. So clothing is being uh, produced. Uh, fabrics are being produced, fabrics are being s uh, straight away uh, utilized, uh, used. Uh, oh, drinking water, seriously? We don't have that. That's not a problem. We're gonna be extending some pipes to here. And, and, oh yeah, we hit, we, what? Yeah, 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 we have, we have. Okay, let's go and extend these pipes. So we're gonna need the substation, water substation. Uh, this one, what the hell? As good one, as good as any. So it's going to be close to this one, and let's go and build pipes uh, delivering water here. So that should be as simple as this, but let's see if it's the game is going to say... Oh, the game is going to say... You the man, who's the man? You the man. There we go. Yeah, you just need to persuade it a little bit, and that's it. Okay, uh, this needs to be built, F3. Uh, by the way, guys, if we fail this gameplay, do you have any suggestions about the storyline? About I can cheat in money, that's not a problem. You just press CHE, cheat mode is activated, and you can just go and uh, add money as much as you want. I can reset rubles to zero. Uh, do you want me to do any of this stuff for this game? Um, it's absolutely unplayable at the moment on the hardest level. Me, my uh, brain. Um, is not capable of handling this game uh, at the, the moment. This is period. This is a fact. This is not me being self-critical for no reason. This is like the only reason that I see that can be fixed here in the way I'm doing it. You know what I would be doing in a new game was shorten the travel time from the border to where the storages are, which might be the the main thing. You know that that is causing all of this grief that we have. So. Shorten the travel time to here because the city is even further than that. So I'm thinking that that could be the only thing that is causing us the, the most grief. Uh, building a city right next to the border crossing could be the most profitable or more profitable. So I don't know. Let me know in the comment sections what do you think. Could have I done something differently that would be like better? Uh... What would be your suggestions for this? I went for the chemicals, which is people say is the cheatiest of them all. Uh, and I'm still missing... We're still missing crops here. We don't have enough crops for, well, let's say anything. Uh, all of this is stopping. Uh, yeah, all the production stopped because we don't have enough crops. Okay, we're gonna have to go for more kolhoznics. Uh, I will buy more kolhoznics. Uh, are kolhoznik oh, we only have one. Seriously? Uh, three division is not gonna stop us with workshop items, so yeah, sorry about that. Covered hull, and we, let's go. Cool, Hosnik, uh, covered hulls. What did I miss it? Let's go for total capacity. Uh, Zubers, we have Zubers. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm missing Cole Hosnicks somewhere. Oh, here we go. Cole Hosnick. Jubers are actually maybe even better vehicles for this. They are a little bit uh, more expensive and a little bit bigger capacity. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go with uh, Cole Hosnick. So I'm going to two more Cole Hosnick. They're going to be importing crops until we are uh, capable of uh, doing this ourselves. For now, we are not. So let's just, let's just go with it like, like, like we are doing now. Anyway, anyway. Um, anything else I would like to do here? Uh, I'm kind of stocking up on this uh, fertilizer thingy and I'm not happy with the progress of uh, construction of the farm. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I'm thinking about the silo as well is slightly worrying because where we decided to build a farm is kind of a valley-ish thingy. So if I'm going to be squeezing in any silos around here it's either gonna have to be a little bit on a smaller side which is not a bad thing i mean like smaller silos are gonna be cuter more realistic maybe you know there's options there's there's reasons for us to actually use smaller silos just saying uh so if you guys think that we should go for a smaller silo also comment that below uh i might be just going for it but still i would like your input on this like for example uh three whoa this is perfect. Sorry, I hit the mic. 
this is perfect. I would like to level this all the way to the farm because it's annoying AF. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. No input needed, no input needed. Oh, well, there is input needed, sorry. But, um, yeah. We need a loading station for this. But, you know what, let's, let's just do it like this. Uh, we have these old roads over here. I'm just gonna disconnect them. If they burn, if it burns, if he dies, he dies. I must break you. Um, if it if it burns, it burns. This is what I can say about uh, this village. And for now, I'm gonna go for. Um, I'm gonna utilize the village setup here, and I'm gonna do this. Um, there we go. Perfect. Absolute perfection. The eye candy of, of, of our, our ingenuity. I don't know. I need to start, stop keep, uh, I need to keep, stop BSing as, as much as I am, so. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go with removing the clipping and then let's go for, you know, 3 Division might be wanting to screw us over, but we have a couple of aces in our sleeves, don't we? Uh, going in this direction. How are we doing time-wise? Wow, this is gonna be a long one. Uh, there we go. And that's it. You know what? I'm gonna focus on... Uh, I'm gonna focus on enjoying this game. And I'm gonna see you back in 5.
Okay, shorter than usual time lapse, but we are at the impasse here. I don't think we can borrow any more money and looks like this is a failure. We can do 100,000, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think this is going to change anything. Uh, we're going to go for 100 and uh, I don't know, 40,000 and see if we can get anything from that. But I don't see a big, big money influx uh, for us to actually to manage this. Uh, what do I blame? I don't know. My non-understanding of the game mechanics, um, not being focused on the game, um, missing some basic things, going for more expensive mods. Uh, Maybe I should have gone with um, uh, clothing industry rather than the uh, chemicals themselves. I'm gonna have to go and check out some of the older, um, uh, older Excel sheets. Uh, also, Coptic shared with me um, the, to see if uh, maybe we could have done something better, invested in some other industries. Uh, with the, the hardest difficult level that we are playing is we don't have resources. Uh, the only resources we can have is farming. I could have focused on the year one in, on farming, building the first farm and then big fields. I don't think this is the best map for it. Maybe if we started in this neighborhood. Maybe it would be a little bit easier, but uh, that's about it. Uh, we have 100,000 rubles left. Um, this is all legal. I didn't cheat any money. I didn't cheat. I don't cheat at all. So um, uh, everything that happens here, you guys know. Uh, so this is my conclusion for this series. I'm really happy with the city that we built. I think we had a little bit of few bumps uh, on the road. I think the services that we built are quite, quite good. I'm really happy about them. Why are they in the... All right, okay, this is temporary. I was like, he died permanently in the middle of the road. Not really. I don't understand the car mechanics still. Uh, how do they get fixed uh, now? The plastics are something that we need a little bit more in a bigger quantities. Looks like plastics is actually the play, the thing to go for. So the repair, uh, vehicle repair station, I don't think this is... Um, uh, any size like i i would consider us having 3000 people that this is a small size uh, economy that this small uh, repair station should be able to manage it i don't think we are managing it uh there's too many christmas tree decorations all over the place three of them permanently dead looks like it um i think removing them would just cost money so i just left them there there's no need for them to be anywhere else uh i can nothing here Oh, right, we have the new storage here ready, that's fine. Uh, we can go for, let's say, steel, 25%, uh, prefab panels, 25%. Uh, let's cancel everything. Sorry. No. Uh, we need to clear the percentage, so 25, uh, 25. Uh, we're going to go here as well, 25 and the boards 25 uh that would be about it what i would like to have in this storage area and then i can tell them to go and deliver stuff mm -hmm. but this is gonna be another huge uh, uh, economical hit on us because that's a lot of uh, steel and other stuff that needs to be imported which i'm not big fan of importing that much materials at the same time um i can stop importing bricks to this other location and then, um, and then, then in the UK, uh, when these are guys are done with the storage, the construction offices then slowly move them to, to a different uh, source of materials that would be the new one. Uh, we have the substation here, the water substation uh, that can be finished. That's it. Uh, let's leave it like that. The the last thing here needs like people are happy. We are doing great. Everything is doing. Uh, per okay, yeah, heating problem. Um, everything was go going great. I don't have big, big issues with anything uh, that we did so far. It just feels like it's impossible. Uh, that's the only thing that I can say. It just feels that it's really, really hard. Maybe even impossible, like I said. But um, yeah, it could be just me. If you guys think that uh, we're doing something wrong, I would like to hear your input uh, in this. I know that a lot of you are not playing this game with the hardest difficulties. Uh, again, the percentage of the happy, happy people, sorry, 75% happiness, it's absolutely ginormous. And I'm ecstatic, ecstatic about this. This is really good. Uh, the industries that we built, I think they're really good, but uh, just loans are killing us. I think I created too fancy of a life for our people. I think my non-understanding of the footpaths. 
uh, maybe the layout of the city, some of the big buildings caused a little bit of a dip in happiness. I don't think that cost us a lot of money, which is the main problem in this gameplay, but... Um, yeah, I, I think it's not sustainable uh, for us to get this many loans. Currently, we are paying off 778,000 uh, rubles every 30 days, which is a lot. And we're not, definitely not getting that money. So if I go for the uh, for if I go for the exports, uh, let's say last month, uh, let's go this year. You can see we only started this year is February. Let's go with last year. Exports with chemicals 180,000 rubles. Divide that by uh, 12 months. This is worse than my videos about like uh, import based economies and stuff. So probably chemicals would be something that I should have gone for. I think I overextended our infrastructure. I think I should have built the even polluting industries like uh, um, the clothing industry closer to the city, potentially even in walking distance, because initially I don't think health of the people should be the main concern of us, so rather transporting people to work and being as productive as possible, more so than... Um, um, then having it in a nice location. I'm actually quite happy by the location we chose. I think it's great. Yeah, anything else I would like to add? No, well, like, there's a comment section, guys. Uh, hit it uh, if you want me to cheat in money and continue playing uh, just a little bit. If it becomes really boring for me because there's no challenge because I cheated in money. Um, yeah, sure. Um, the, everybody, like, uh, who wants to vote, don't feel like uh, if somebody votes one way that you're obligated to do so. Feel free to express yourself uh, if it's too cheaty, too cheaty. Um, I really don't have any problem starting a new map. Uh, from the ground up, focusing on something else. Again, I would like to ask you, what did we go wrong? Would it be better if we focused on, let's say, clothing industry and then importing fabrics and build downwards towards cl uh, the, the uh, towards uh, production of our own fabrics and then pro production of our own chemicals? Would that be better financially profitable? Or should have I rushed, like in tutorials that I made, rush towards the farm, first farm, and then just add value to the farm, either alcohol or meat, or just cattle, as export cattle itself, or even food. The, the food would definitely like limit a lot of exports for us. So, what's your opinion? First of all, where did we do mistakes? Also, where where would we go with the next series that we go? Would it be go towards farming or clothing industries? Which one of those two you think is better? And second of all, do you want me to continue? a little bit with uh, cheating in money or like what's your opinion about that uh we i'm not gonna stop recording this game's video i don't see the reason why i should but uh, just, yeah. uh, anyway we're gonna continue with uh with the with the game anyway i really hope you enjoyed this one guys if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like share the notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel you have the description of the video thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye bye